Um, thanks a lot, Gareth, for joining me. Um, this is a campaign video in support of the Anis Sardar campaign. Firstly, um, can you just uh, let the um, co online community know um, who is An Anis Sardar and why he was convicted in the UK? He's um, a man who was convicted, in our view, wrongly, of the murder of an American soldier in Iraq in 2007. Uh, there's no evidence that um, makes him the person who was involved in his murder. Nevertheless, by a series of connections, he's been made liable for something beyond the conspiracy that was alleged he was involved in. He was um, said to be part of a resistance group in um, undefined in Iraq in 2007 that laid a number of improvised explosive devices um, in areas in which American mil military were prohibited from going. Nevertheless, they went into an area and one of them was killed. Um, the devices his defense set out um, were for the purpose of providing a barrier to incoming Shia militia who were um, committing attacks and atrocities on a number of Sunni villages in the area. They had no means of protecting themselves and um, set up rudimentary defense and he was involved with the defense of that area. Um, also, can you comment with regards to the prejudice um, that is evident in the British justice system towards um, Muslims, uh, namely the Guardian reported uh, that you took, uh, that you were quite critical of the justice system with regards to Anis Sardar's uh, sentencing? He's got an enormous sentence um, for murder, a life sentence with a tariff, which means he spent a minimum of 38 years in prison before being considered for release. He's the only person in the world who's been convicted in a court of participating in the Iraq conflict. Um, and yet the whole of the context of the Iraq conflict and of that geographical area and what was happening was removed from the knowledge of the jury because um, the evidence of potential witnesses was not allowed to be given in conditions that would guarantee their safety. Mm. Uh, yeah, is okay, that brilliant. Yeah, okay. thank you very much, Gareth. All right, okay.